will now discuss about capacitors. A capacitor as you know is basically a two terminal device such that uh, it uh, acts as an open circuit to a DC and short circuit to an AC. So, there are two plates in the capacitor across which charges are being stored. So, like a resistor a capacitor is also a ohmic um, circuit element because it obeys the ohms law and so as you know that it is the intrinsic property of a capacitor to oppose any change in voltage across it. Let me just write it down it is the intrinsic property of a Similarly, it is also the it is the intrinsic property of an inductor to oppose any change in current flowing through it. It is the intrinsic property of an inductor to oppose any change in current flowing through it. So, so naturally uh, when we design and implement a capacitor we have to keep in mind that the capacitor will provide an opposition to the change in voltage across it. So, whenever we need to uh, we need to absorb some change in voltage we need to uh, cut down the sparks uh, spiking potentials or so the best way is to apply a capacitor to the current path, so that the spike gets removed away. Now, the question is how to implement a capacitor with a MOS transistor. So, as you know the MOS device if, uh, if you recall our earlier discussion a MOS device essentially behaves like a capacitor with the metal acting as one terminal the oxide as the second terminal and the semiconductor oxide is acting as the dielectric in between and semiconductor as the third terminal. So, given a MOS transistor we can short the drain uh, bulk and source and make it behave as a capacitor. just like this. So, given a MOS transistor we can short the drain uh, source and bulk and transform it into a capacitor. Now, now how to, uh, when it comes to actually estimating the capacitor due to a MOS transistor it is very important to estimate the capacitances from the large signal MOS model, because the capacitances have got different value at the different regions of operation of the MOS transistor. So, so if you see the top view of a MOS transistor, then there is a lateral diffusion of the drain and source underneath the polysilicon of the gate, and because of which you have two parallel plate capacitors at the gate to source and gate to drain junctions. So, these capacitances are called overlap capacitances and similarly you have 
depletion region capacitor or junction capacitances at the bulk to source and bulk to drain junctions. I have already explained about those capacitances uh, in course of teaching you the large signal model of MOSFET. So, for uh, uh, now considering this uh, uh, MOS capacitor, it is very important to study the capacitance versus voltage characteristics. So, naturally we plot the C V characteristics of the MOS transistor. So, as you can see that when you give a positive potential you connect the uh, uh, drain uh, source bulk terminal to ground and apply a positive potential to the gate, then it will uh, attract the electrons towards itself and therefore, Uh, since this is a p type substrate it will repel the holes away from the substrate and a depletion region is formed over here. On the other hand if you give a negative potential the holes are holes will be attracted towards the surface of separation between the oxide and the substrate and there will be a layer of hole holes being formed over here. And this phenomena is called accumulation. So, now once the holes accumulate there is a constant uh, layer of holes which uh, uh, leads to a formation of constant voltage drop across this oxide layer and therefore, you can see a constant value of the capacitance in the accumulation region. Now, as you go on re reducing this negative potential the the, uh, the attractive force on these holes becomes lesser and lesser and they the number of holes found at the surface of separation between the oxide and the substrate also becomes lesser and lesser. And at a particular potential called the flat band voltage it, they are lost and as you go on increasing the potential you will find a depletion region is actually formed more and more and you go on increasing the positive potential the depletion region becomes thicker and thicker and at a particular potential called the threshold voltage suddenly you will find an accumulation of negative charges at the surface of separation between the oxide and the substrate in which case the capacitance suddenly increases. after that it remains again constant. So, this is very evident because as you go on increasing the uh, potential in the depletion region, the depletion region becomes thicker and thicker which means your dielectric uh, layer becomes thicker and thicker and therefore, the uh, v since the width of the depletion region keeps on increasing therefore, the capacitance also keeps on decreasing you know this uh, relationship C equal to epsilon. A by D. So, epsilon is remaining constant, but D is constantly increasing. So, if D is increasing then C has to decrease and if C decreases then you can see there is a fall in the graph over here. So, this is uh, how uh, we plot the C V characteristics of a MOS transistors and it is very important uh, to uh, use this characteristics specifically to estimate the value of most capacitances in different circuits.